Today I'm going to be doing a review for this new animating software called Toon Squid. So let's jump right in. Open Toon Squid there. So this is Toon Squid. Yeah, this came out really recently and for a while I've been using Flipper Clip, which compared to this, I don't think I'll ever even look at Flipper Clip again. You pay a bit of money for it. I think it's $10 now or something. And um, with that, you get uh, uh, this amazing software. It's like a combination of Procreate, um, Adobe Animate, um, basically all the great stuff. So once you've got this uh, app, you won't be seeing all these projects here, these are mine, but um, you'll be pressing the plus icon up here and you'll be starting a project. One of my favorite features in this uh, app is the fact that there's two types of workflow. There's traditional, which uh, Flipper Clip has, and there's also something called Keyframe, which if you use things like Adobe Animate, you might be aware of it. We can just down here, press create. And uh, I've, oh, sorry, I did this in an upright format because I've been doing YouTube Shorts recently. Uh, let's just work with it. So let's get into the animating. I'm just gonna draw a quick circle, go into here a lip. So this is the path through. You can create all these vector images. Flip Flip doesn't have vector, um, so that's another reason why I like it. So let's just draw this shape and move it over here. So now, once you've created your shape. You go down, if you want to animate it, I've chosen keyframing animating. Um, you can do traditional, which is, works exactly the same way as Flip Clip. But um, keyframing personally is so much better. So to animate it, you go down here and press this tiny icon here. And then you'll be open to all of these options. So position, rotation, scale, opacity, control points. So you can kind of guess what all these do. They basically change different properties of it. Uh, let's do positions. Now, if I want to move this object, I'll go to another frame up here, press add keyframe, and you can see another tiny dot appeared here. If I press that and move the shape around, you can see now there's a line going from where it starts to where it finishes. So I'll just move this over here, and now when we play, it will go from the start position to the end position. So there we go, the ball's moving. Now, there are so many more options you can do, like if you select the keyframe and go down here um, to easing curve, you can um, choose those different ways it moves, like for example I can choose exponential which will make it start slow and end slow, like that. But um, it has enough to create a really good animation and for now I think it's definitely something worth getting. Um, yeah, they're adding stuff all the time, they're doing so many new updates and they are actually accepting feedback so if you do want something in it they'll actually most likely update it into the app. Overall it's so much better than any other um, animation apps. This is my review for Toon Squid.